There are various ways of getting rid of redundant hair. You can shave or wax it off, but during the last several years we have used the latest technologies, photo and laser epilation. Experts at the Health Center 4 will tell us about their effectiveness and benefits. Dr. Lauma Valene, dermatologist at the Fourth Dimension Beauty Clinic of Health Center 4. A member of the Latvian Association of Dermatologists, the Latvian Dermatoscopy Society, and the Latvian Association of Aesthetic Laser Surgery. She has worked with lasers since 2006 and performs photo and laser epilation with state-of-the-art equipment. Dr. Inese Stukase, laser therapist at Health Center 4. She has improved her professional skills in various EU countries in the field of IP technologies since 2001, specializes in laser and photo epilation technologies, and was one of the first laser therapists in Latvia. We women have always wanted to get rid of redundant hair and we usually shave or wax it off. This poses the question of the benefits of new and contemporary technologies such as photo and laser epilation. You must understand that this method really eliminates and destroys hair follicles. During laser epilation, a laser or a ray of light that is the basis for the photo epilation method acts on the hair that is visible on the surface of the skin and hair that is undergoing the active growing phase. The target of the laser impulse is the melanin pigment which is located in the hair. The fiber of the hair impulse acts on the root and follicle of the hair, destroying it. Hair grows back two or three days after shaving and two or three weeks on average after waxing. What about photo and laser epilation? During photo and laser epilation, hair does not disappear, jump or fall out. It is simply treated with light, which makes it fall out by itself two or three weeks after the treatment. The next generation is ready for treatment after five weeks, and three to five treatments with an interval of five weeks is necessary. After that, corrections are conducted on an individual basis, whether once in three months, once in six months, or once a year. This depends on the level of hormones in the body and also on heredity. Are both methods, photo and laser epilation, equally effective? for those who have dark or fair hair? Both practice and science have proven that photoepilation and laser epilation are both suitable for dark hair, while laser epilation is more effective for fair hair. If a person is prepared to undergo photo or laser epilation, what should be taken into account? What are the limitations and preparations for this process? The patient's skin should not be tanned and it should be undamaged. The optimal hair length is 1 to 2 millimeters. We do not perform this treatment on pregnant women or if you have acute respiratory infections or high body temperature. Photoepilation is an effective and safe way of getting rid of redundant hair and it provides a long-lasting result. The treatment is very friendly to the skin. The skin is covered with a transparent gel and this protects the skin and is very good at conducting light. Both the doctor and patient wear dark glasses as the light during the treatment is very bright. You should protect your eyes against any kind of bright light. The treatment resembles a photo flash. The required parameters are ensured for the device so as to obtain the optimal result. The brief element of heat on your flesh will be just as short as a photo flash. It may or may not hurt. That is a very individual issue. 
The device has an option which can process completely fair hair, as well as thick, gray, or disturbing hair in the facial hair for women after the age of 50. We deal with this problem quite frequently and can try to deal with the situation even if the hair is completely without pigment. Then the hair is pulled out briefly before the photo treatment. The light does not act on the melanin of the hair. Instead, it works on the subcutaneous capillary of the hair by melding it together. This means that nutrients and oxygen cannot get to the hair, and in the best situation, the hair does not grow out at all. In the worst case, it becomes thinner and lighter, and that is already considered to be a good result. It's time to visit our studio and see how photo and laser epilation are performed. Put on your glasses, please. The necessary parameters have been switched on the device to obtain the optimal result. What's the feeling? What do you feel? Nothing. Like a hot needle. Latest generation lasers make it possible to tailor the individual treatment mode for each patient. This is based on the color of the patient's skin, eyes and hair, as well as the phototype of the skin. A special freezing crystal is affixed to the head of the laser so as to cool the surface, provide a pain-killing effect, and avoid any superficial skin burns during the treatment. We can observe the reaction of the hair immediately after the treatment. The hair fiber is no more than a small black spot. Treatment of one underarm lasted for less than 10 seconds and treatment of the other one lasted for 15 seconds. What are the conclusions? Was it painful? Which did you prefer, photo or laser epilation? Neither of them was painful if we compare them to waxing and such. I did not feel a thing. I was prepared for pain and clenched my teeth, but both treatments were very identical. Today we observed one photo epilation and one laser epilation machine in the studio, but there are many other kinds and now we will see how many methods are currently on offer. The available variety of photo and laser epilation equipment makes it possible to find the most suitable epilation method not in terms of the client, but instead of the specifics of the client's skin and hair. This is the pioneer of laser epilation, the Alexandrite 755 nanometer laser. This laser can process various areas of the skin, offering a very unique option of processing the skin with the help of a scanner. The laser finds and destroys the hair by itself. That makes it possible to reduce the risk of burns, also optimizing the laser treatment. This provides a 100% result which cannot be achieved manually. The epilation process is also faster and less painful, and the laser only acts on those places where hair is located. Fourth Dimension also offers the latest generation intense pulsed light laser device, M22. This performs photo epilation in a safe way that is individually tailored to suit every patient's needs. A laser display makes it possible to choose the most appropriate mode on the basis of the skin's phototype and the darkness and roughness of each patient's hair. This treatment is painless and safe. By choosing the most appropriate method and nozzle, it is also possible to treat various dermatological diseases and solve visually aesthetic problems, including the elimination of redundant hair. The latest device is the Lumane Light Shear Duet Laser, and it is appropriate for safe and painless laser epilation on various areas of the skin. 
There are two types of nozzles, one for small areas of the skin, such as the upper lip or your underarms, while the second nozzle is one which we would like to mention particularly. It is a nozzle with a vacuum, providing for safe epilation on large areas of skin. This latest generation laser epilation treatment is particularly appropriate for people with darker skin types. During the treatment, the device pulls in the skin, and the laser impulse is directed toward it. It should be noted that the intensity of the vacuum laser is adjusted individually, always taking into account the shade of the patient's skin and the structure of the patient's hair. How can one choose the right establishment and the right specialist so as to avoid problems and not regret the step that is taken? Any treatment involves a certain level of risk because the laser is a sufficiently powerful device. If you are not informed about the risks and accept treatment at an establishment where a physician is not conducting it, then there is a possibility of increased risks and side effects.